In World of Warcraft, there are two qualities of gear that aren't supposed to have stats on them, and those are the poor and common quality, or the gray and white items. Gear doesn't start getting stats on them until green quality, or uncommon. But throughout the course of WoW's history, there have been some pieces of common quality gear that did have extra stats on them similar to green quality and above, although I'm not sure that's the case anymore. One of the more famous pieces of white quality equipment with stats was the Battered Viking Shield, which dropped off of Olaf and Uldemon. The shield gave an additional 8 stamina and 4 spirit, despite the fact that most white items did not give any extra stats like this. Usually, they only give armor and nothing else, so the Battered Viking Shield was quite the oddity, and was most likely the only white item in the game with stats on it, until patch 2.3 when they upgraded the quality of the shield from common to rare completely skipping uncommon quality. And this upgrade made sense since it did drop off of a mob in a dungeon, and generally special drops from dungeons are rare quality. And there wasn't really a reason for this item to have stats while being uncommon, but vanilla WoW gear had all kinds of crazy stats on them, and some pieces of equipment even had negative stats. So it wasn't too weird and kind of fit into how everything was weird. And if anything, I assume there was just a mistake with the shield. It was meant to be a higher quality, or it wasn't meant to have stats on it. Or it was meant to be a quest item, as quest items are most of the time common quality. And a lot of quests in Vanilla WoW required you to equip a weapon or something in order to accept a quest. Although even then, those special quest items didn't have stats on them. So the shield didn't really make sense, but also wasn't the last time they had white gear with stats on them. In Wrath of the Lich King, they introduced a vendor called Warsmith Sikfina, who sold five pieces of equipment, four weapons and one shield. All of this equipment was common quality, yet all of the weapons had an extra stat on them. The weapons all had a damage proc effect, where every time they hit with the weapon, it also did extra frost damage. And unlike normal weapon proc effects, this one happened every time you hit instead of a chance on hit. So I assume that's why they made these white item weapons, because it just added extra damage with every attack, and they thought to balance it out by lowering the quality of the weapons. That's just one theory, however. These weapons were also incredibly useful, because you could sell them on the auction house, since none of them were bind on pickup. And what made these weapons so useful was farming Physidius in AQ40, a boss which required both frost and physical damage in order to kill. So if you were playing a class like a warlock, who had zero frost or physical damage, you could equip one of these weapons in order to gain both of those. And you could also go to the auction house to buy one of these weapons. And they were the best in slot weapons for Iron Man challenges, where part of the rules is you can't equip any green items or above. And since these are all technically white quality items, they were legal for the challenge even though they had special effects. But then in Legion, Blizzard upped the quality of all of the weapons in the shield to green quality which also changed them to bind on pickup, so they can no longer be sold on the auction house. Most of them kept the exact same effects they had, where they still did frost damage on each attack, except one of the weapons got the frost proc removed and instead was given normal stats for some reason. And I'm not really sure why these items had their quality increased, as it didn't really seem necessary, but it was most likely another fix like they did with the battered viking shield. But this wasn't the end for white quality items with stats. When Blizzard did their first stat squish and changed all of the stats on gear to compensate, there were a lot of reports of white quality items from quests incorrectly having stats on them. So what probably happened was whatever formula they used to downgrade the stats and all the gear in the world probably applied stats to certain item levels of gear and accidentally gave stats to some quest reward items that were common quality, where normally they'd have no stats at all. Eventually, though, all of these items were fixed, and none of them no longer have stats on them. And as far as I know, that's the end of the story for common quality items having stats on them. I don't think there are any other white quality items in the game with stats on them anymore, as all of them were either fixed to no longer have stats, or they were upgraded in quality like the shield and weapons. Which keeps things consistent, I guess, but as someone who really enjoys the Iron Man challenge, I wasn't the biggest fan of the weapon changes. Alright, and that's the end of the video. Did you know only 26.5% of people who watch my videos are subscribed? So, if you like these videos and want to see more, you should probably subscribe to get updated when new ones come out.